CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. Thank you for being here. The Cohen Commission inquiry into the collapse of the Fraser River sockeye run has failed to identify a smoking gun, but it did take aim at the aquaculture industry. One of the Commission's 75 recommendations released yesterday is to impose a moratorium on any new open net fish farms in the Discovery Islands. Environmentalists say that is a clear indication that the fish farms must be at least partly to blame for the decline in salmon stocks. But as CTV's Gord Kerber shows us, the aquaculture industry also also recommends the recommendation, uh, also considers the recommendation a victory. He submerged himself into 138 days of hearings, trying to determine why the 2009 sockeye return along the Fraser River was so poor. That's when only 1 million of unexpected 10 million fish returned home. Unless significant remedial measures are introduced soon, the stressors that are currently believed to affect sockeye negatively will continue to do so. Yesterday, B.C. Supreme Court Judge Bruce Cohen released his findings, but after hearing 900 submissions and pouring over 600,000 documents, he said there was no specific, simple reason that could be found. The salmon farming industry says that supports what it has been saying all along, that fish farms don't harm wild stock. Clearly he's found no evidence that supports the theory that uh, farmed salmon are having a negative impact on wild salmon stocks. Stuart Hawthorne is the managing director for Greek Seafood as well as a board member at the BC Salmon Farmers Association. He says the industry supports the recommendation for more research on farmed and wild salmon interactions within the Discovery Islands. He says the industry believes Cohen's findings support fish farms and says if there was a basis to shut them down, Cohen would have done it. So he obviously hasn't found that, otherwise he would have been recommending that we uh, remove so it's, uh, a little bit complicated, but it's really quite simple. Uh, no evidence has been found that's supporting the, the premise that our farm salmon are having any impact on wild stocks. But Cohen did say that a moratorium should be placed on any new farms in the Discovery Islands. That plus a recommendation that impactful fish farms should be removed has activist Alexander Morton claiming victory. He said if, if the impact is greater than minimal risk, they should cease to operate. For me, it was uh, absolutely tremendous to read this report. Skyping with us today from Santula, Morton says Cohen's 75 recommendations were good for those concerned about the future of salmon along our coast. It's the first time a person in a position of authority has recognized the impact of this industry could be irreversible. Um, recognized in recommendation number three that DFO should be relieved of their duty to promote the industry that that could cause this um, conflicts of interest. He does point out that recommendations are just that, recommendations. The government has not said whether it will consider implementing any of them. Gord Kerbis, CTV News.